What's up everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Generations. Last time we went through Diglett's Cave and caught Cyndaquil on the other side. And then we came back and went to the SS Hand. This time we're going to continue through the SS Hand. And pretty much this is going to be it for the next few episodes. Um, so, let's continue on. Of course we get in, go right into a battle right here. Because this guy is blocking the... Or is uh, watching the door. War Turtle. Okay, so this might get a little bit more tough. Ooh, almost. Almost. Knew it was gonna heal. Moo Moo Milk. Ooh. Okay. So, this is pretty much gonna be it for most of the most of the next uh, um, episode. So, it's gonna be a little bit slow until I get uh, through to uh, to the end of this area. Alright, I think that was this only item, it seems like it. Uh, oh yeah, that was good. So I'll prob so for this batch of recordings I'm planning to get through all of SS Ann and then move on to uh, uh get ready for the gym. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the gym right away, though. I think I'm going to wait. Now, let me see here. We'll do Tyrobe. Yeah, so we're getting to see the, uh, the evolved forms of the water star- the water starters. Or at least their uh, second phase. Lazy cat. My sister's cat is in my is in the room, so he's just laying there on the floor, looking all cute. Yay! Tyrogue leveled up. Um, we'll do Ninorino. I'm gonna have to heal after this because half my team uh, took a lot of health or a lot of hits. All right, focus energy. Mud shot. Oh yeah, I never did look that up. Holy shit, it's super effective. Um shit. That not good. That that not good. Not good. Um Double kick! Nope. Mud slap. Well, we'll we'll throw Geo Dude out there, but uh, if it has any water type moves, then I'm dead. Oh yeah, ground is uh is a super effective against rock too. Shit. Well, blow her up. Oh. 
That sucks. Okay. I, wa I wanted to... <laughs> uh, Alright. Wing attack. Well... Energy, you ain't gonna get to release it though, because you're dead. Okay, I survived. <laughs> I survived that one. Um, shit. Okay, got an ether. I am gonna go heal real quick though, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, move on to the next room. Are you? Grab this uh, TM. Whoop. And we'll fight. Alright. You gonna be uh, tougher than the last one? Focus energy! I'm so faster. Ugh. I'll try the double kick. At least I can probably get a critical out of it, but it's not gonna do much yet. Yeah, I got a critical, but... Just stick with uh, horn attacks since. Oh, there you go, there you go. Yay, Nino Reno leveled up. Which is why I put him up front. Huey! Yeah! Okay, nothing. Ugh. We'll put Star You up. Geo Dude needs to level up some more, but uh, this is not a great spot for him. Hey, two trainers. Hello, stranger. I probably could have uh, had uh, Geo Dude out in front. Nope, it's a fisherman, so. Oh, Star You versus Star You. It's the battle of the uh, of the starfishes. That was my next move. Really? You? Oh my gosh. All right, sorry you. You better snap out of confusion pretty quick. Motherfucker! Right, let's switch it out. Uh, go back. Probably won't survive the confusion, so. Uh huh. Probably. Uh -huh. Do wing attack. There we go. Doing some damage now. See, so go back. You need to learn that move instead of supersonic. Son of a bit. Swift. Really? Come on, go back. There we go. Good job, go back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal before I can take on the other guy in here. <laughs> uh, did he have another Pokemon? Nope, that was it. It was just that one. 
Alright, I'm gonna be right back. Alright, back for the other one. Eddie, hey, you're rocking the plank if you. What are you, a pirate? Sailor Philip, which is kind of ironic. Considering, uh. Considering Captain Philip. Alright, use Confuse Ray on him, and then I'll hit, hit it with a Confusion. Or two, maybe three. I'll depend. Fucking roll out. Rollout is a great move when you're the one using it. <laughs> but what sucks about it is if uh, is if, if it gets going, because that thing hurts. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna hit it with another confused ray. Hopefully, it will actually uh, it'll actually stop that rollout. Nope, didn't stop the rollout. Star use dead, and probably the next person that comes out will be dead too. Let's throw Tyrogue out there. Maybe he'll be able to uh, kill it off before it can. Oh, sure. Now you hit yourself, so that resets the uh, um, the uh, rollout. Lemonade. I do like that the other trainers. Yeah, there we go. The other trainers. Um, have items now. Okay, so the rest of this is going to be post commentary. Uh, unfortunately, I did not realize that the audio cut out uh, at the end of that during recording. So this is me as I'm editing it, uh, doing post commentary. Um. So yeah, I was talking about how I liked uh, how they liked gave trainers items and it's not just potions and um or super potions or anything like that it's a variety it's fresh water lemonade moo moo milk um it's just not oh they all have potions so they all have super potions it's a variety and it's kind of nice to give them more depth um but i don't like how there are so that a lot of them are so overpowered that they have a, a move set that um, pretty much uh, cheat. Um, I do mention he I did mention here that uh, after I got through saying uh, talking about the uh, potions and stuff that it's like okay this guy doesn't use one okay he doesn't have any items prove me wrong game. Anyways, um, now I did. Express uh, concern about one thing with uh, Geodude because I am trying to level up Geodude, get a re get him ready for the gym. And it's like, well, they don't all have to know just electric type moves. They can know moves like uh, Quick Attack, and um, even though I have a list of it, I don't know what uh, what moves they do know. So they might know something that will defeat Geodude, and I have kind of have that concern now. Uh, with that said, I haven't recorded the actual uh, uh, gym battle at this time. I've already done with the SSN. I already, but I do uh, know what to expect. So it's going to be <laughs> pretty interesting. Um, but anyways, I think it's the next room that I had had a little bit of a what the world kind of deal. Um, yeah, it, it, and during the uh, editing of this, I was like, man, I don't, I don't have a lot of talking. Yeah, is this one, this room that was kind of, uh, that I brought up another point. Um, so I talked to a Cyndaquil, but she's talking about a Wigglytuff. That's another thing that I do not understand about the game is, like, 
they reference different Pokemon or different people, um, and it kind of seems like an an oversight that the uh, the ROM makers uh, uh, had that uh, left out that they should have uh, maybe uh, updated a few more texts here and there. Um, with the whole Roxanne and Brock earlier, someone saying like, "Yeah, Brock is the best gym leader." There, he comes over. I'm like, "But Brock's not there. It's Roxanne." My, or at least have him mention, mentions like, "It's a shame that Brock's no longer the gym leader or anything like that." Okay, so this battle, I was kind of confused on what to, on uh, what to do, and I thought Spronk was a psychic type and I kind of realized that at this point uh, oh yeah it's definitely a psychic type because um, I couldn't quite remember it was one of those Pokemon that's like it doesn't really look psychic but I don't know. so um, I still try to give it my best <laughs> give it my uh, best with uh, star you so uh, but that didn't quite work out as you can see. So, um, I do switch out to, uh, I switch out to Golbat actually, because he, uh, uh, knows, uh, uh, Bite and Astonish, but Astonish is going away. Um, Bite does more damage, anyways. It's just kind of a, it's kind of a double edged sword with, uh, Golbat, because he has that power has a powerful dark move that's strong against psychic but he's also poison making him weak against psychic so he um, he doesn't last too long he does enough damage to uh, spoink the uh, to do something about it unfortunately I kind of make the mistake of switching over over to Ninarino who is another poison type I think I was trying to uh, get him poison and I didn't think oh I just got through talking about uh, trainers having potions and uh, healing items, and this guy just uses a super potion. Luckily, it got poisoned, and and it uh, worked out. Um, now, I do... Oh, I get very close uh, to losing this one. Uh, losing Nidorino also. As you see, Nidorino got brought down. Um, and I thought this was, this was great. Oh, you put me to sleep. Too bad you're dead now. The poison, uh, I couldn't have, uh, timed that any better. <laughs> Poisoning him when I did and just bringing him down just enough so he could put me to sleep and die. <laughs> now, I do make another mistake here with, uh, uh, with this one, um. I was thinking that he was uh, um, a rock type. He's not. He's a, a steel, uh, a steel psychic type, which kind of makes sense. I th actually thought it was a rock psychic, but Boldum is a steel, which kind of is kind of because it look because he looks like a rock. Um. So yeah, I and I knew that it had some psychic uh, moves, but I was gonna try. Oh, maybe I can, I can defeat it with Tyro because he's strong against rock. Um, no, it's steel, and it's not. <laughs> Besides, even if it was, it it's part psychic, and it uh, and it nullifies that uh, that uh, um. The uh, double attack or double damage. Um, so I decided I'm gonna start using bulk up because it's like it's just protecting itself. And I should have did it again because he protected it a third time in a row. And had I did, had I did, <laughs> I would have uh, killed it right here. <laughs> But I didn't, and then now Tyrogue's dead. Poor Tyrogue. <laughs> so yeah, I just throw out Saryu to finish off. But anyways, um, 
Yeah, this is uh, some po- some interesting post commentary. <laughs> Anyways, that is the end of this episode. I finish it off. I uh, cut the episode here after this uh, trainer. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and enjoyed the little brief uh, post commentary. And I'll see you guys in the next one without the post commentary. So, bye.